It's a story not in your side first brought to light, and tonight it's led to a change in law. Operators of Tucson's Greyhound Park inject its racing dogs with anabolic steroids, drugs dozens of vets find unethical and potentially harmful. It's why the city of South Tucson banned the practice years ago, and the track's vet did it inside the city of Tucson, skirting the law, and the track CEO admits it. Today, the Tucson City Council stepped in. Marcelino Benito continues this Nine on Your Side investigation. Nine on Your Side's investigation caught the eyes of Tucson City Council. Today, they saw what our cameras captured. A veterinarian injects the dogs with steroids within Tucson city limits. They were using Tucson to get around South Tucson's law. Are there other laws in the city of South Tucson that you would knowingly and willingly disregard in such a manner? No, not at all. Uh, Councilman, I, I would not break this one if it wasn't so important to the dogs. With the dogs in attendance inside council chambers, city leaders listen to all sides. This is a black mark, a stain on the city of Tucson. This is not a little vacuum that the city council can simply fill with its own rules. It's preempted by state law. But the council did not agree. It used its power to unanimously ban the use of steroids on greyhounds in Tucson. What do you think about the decision that the council made today? I'm pleased and proud of the city of Tucson, the mayor and council, for unanimously doing the right thing to put an end to this completely hideous practice. <laughs> but if you think that's the end of it, you'd be wrong. They know and know as well as I do. I go from here, I go to Pima County. And then when they outlaw in Pima County, I go to Santa Cruz County. When they outlaw in Santa Cruz, I go to Pinell County. And when they outlaw it there, I go to the Indian Reservation. You know, I mean, I could keep doing this, but I'm not going to. Racetrack CEO Tom Taylor tells us his days of running around the law are over. He plans to fight this head on right where it all started in South Tucson. Will you start a full effort to change the law? I will have a meeting with our owners and see what they want to do. But that would be my recommendation, is to change the law. South Tucson's 2008 law passed by a mere 29 votes. Still, animal rights advocates say changing the law will be pretty difficult. They plan to fight Taylor every step of the way. Uh, Marcelino Taylor has told us if these bans are successful across the region, he'd have to shut down the park. After today, does he still stand by that? Guy says that's not his intention. He says it's Councilman Kazachik who is on a personal vendetta to shut down racing in South Tucson. If that happens, and that's a big if at this point, 140 people would lose their jobs. Thank you, Marcelino.